We are in the veggie garden today. Actually, it's mom's veggie garden. She's 90 and she's looking after all that. We have some uh, spaghetti squash happening. I saw some cucumbers. We have the tomato over there. And what we're looking for today is uh, the zucchini because we're gonna make something special. I spotted the zucchini here. So I'll go and get that right here. Voila, the zucchini, our first one for the year. So we have three zucchini here. There's plenty more growing, some little ones. Uh, but today we're gonna make some zoodle, the zucchini noodle. Hello, it's Mary France from Healthy Cooking for Food Lovers. Today we are making the zoodle. They are the zucchini noodle. So, of course, we use the zucchini or the courgette and these are so packed with nutrients. They are uh, low in carb, they have high fiber and they are full of nutrients and they are gluten free. Now, just as an example, one cup of normal pasta, spaghetti, has 40 grams of carb. One cup of pseudo four grams of carb. So you can replace all of your recipes that you're making your pasta with the zoodle. Now let me show you how simple it is to make zoodle. I'm using the spiralizer. Uh, there, there's a lot of different uh, machines out there that you can use. There's some little manual one, they're good as well, but I found this is the best and it's easy. Uh, it's easy to clean after and it's perfect and it's fast. Let me show you. So we're just going to cut uh, our ends of our zucchini like this and then we're going to put it in the spiralizer. So what we need to do is to just insert in that little piece of metal here that's going to hold the zucchini in place insert it here and then poke it with the other hand ends uh, like that and then start turning and you get your zoodle Just like this, push it here and then start turning and you see the zoodle. So you make sure that it's really flat uh, because it's going to work better in your uh, spiralizer. And then we just insert in this little piece of metal here, poke it like this and then with the other side and start rolling. And have a look at this. And see what's left? Just the middle like this and a little bit here. So we're gonna make some soup or some salad with that. We don't throw it out. You can cut them just like this or cut it with some scissors but I like to just measure them. Look how long this was, <laughs> a long one. So uh, yeah, so we're just gonna make sure we cut them a little bit. And voila, we have our zucchini noodle here and we're gonna uh, just cook them now. Okay, here they are. Look at this one. <laughs> Okay, so very simple. The zucchini, they have a lot of water content, uh, so we don't need a lot of oil. So we're gonna come here to our pan and heat it up a little bit more. I've had it on low heat so far. We put just about one tablespoon of olive oil, not too much. And we're gonna put, um, I have here, two cloves of garlic. So we're gonna put that in our pan 
and you know garlic it um, it takes no time to start cooking so we don't want to burn the garlic so we just put it now and add our zucchini nearly just now so it's just starting to cook a little bit and then we just infuse the oil with the garlic really that's what we want to do and now we can just add our noodle all of it in there so there's some long bits there's some short bits and so we're gonna put our zucchini here and just cook them uh, just a few minutes not too long as I said there's a lot of uh, water content so it's gonna have like a steaming effect when it cooks and so I can sort of hear it that it starts cooking already we're gonna wait just a few minutes so now this zucchini you can use it with anything you can use it with a tomato sauce and I really like it with a pesto so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go and make a pesto while this is cooking making a pesto to go with the zoodle or to go with anything you like you can use real pasta as well of course it's delicious we use the zoodle because they're very low calorie very low carb and but making pesto is just so easy now we have our fresh basil from our garden and we're gonna put it all in here like this all this has been washed and dry and we're just gonna push it down use all of it here and sorry for the noise coming You could smell this it's just awesome the basil so we're gonna add to this two cloves of garlic I chopped them quickly because they're gonna go in here and they're gonna mince a little bit more and we had half a cup of pine nuts that really makes it half a cup of pine nuts and we're gonna add some of it olive oil Olive oil, uh, I'm just putting it like this, but I'll tell you, I put about a quarter of a cup of olive oil as well. And then we're gonna mix this all together. Aha, perfect. I'm just gonna push it all down, make sure I don't waste anything here. And to finish it off, we add on some Parmesan cheese. I have about um, half a cup here of uh, parmesan cheese all in and then our pesto will be finished so let's go we have a creamy pesto beautiful here we are creamy pesto to go with the zoodle and adding just a little bit of uh, salt, pink Himalayan salt here, and we're gonna give it another little whiz, and we have our pesto. Oh yum, this is our pesto that will go with our zoodle. Now, let's go back and have a look at the zoodle and we're gonna add a little bit of pesto. Now, here they are. They've cooked maybe about five, seven minutes, no more. And they're just perfect, still a little bit crunchy, like we like the spaghetti al dente, so it's the same. And our pesto doesn't need to cook, so we, we, we stop the heat and then we can add a little bit of pesto. But I'll add a little bit of uh, salt as well to the zoodle here yeah. and mix it around a little bit. And then we'll put some pesto and mix it and it's ready. So just like 
two big tablespoons will be plenty for, for that. And just mix it around. And your zoodle are ready. Pesto zoodle for dinner. Ooh. Et voila, pesto zoodle for dinner. Now you can have it just like this because it's so nice. You can add some uh, grilled chicken or shrimp or um, whatever you like, some fish uh, and add to this. It's just delicious on its own and it's perfect. It's low carb, remember, and uh, full of fiber and full of good nutrients. Bon appétit